Hello everybody, it's Monday night and I am making a pot roast for tomorrow for lunch. Um, we have a, um, I'm trying to think of what I'm thinking of, we have a Valentine's potluck lunch to go to tomorrow. So I'm making a pot roast ahead of time and let it cook overnight so that way it'll be ready for lunchtime tomorrow. So here goes. First we're going to put it in the pot roast, which I've actually already done because it was easier that way. So pot roast is already in here. Voila! I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Hold on, let me see if I can get the camera closer. Okay. I definitely did not think that they were very clearly in here. Okay. There you go. Okay. There you go. Now you can see it better. Hi, Mike. Hope you're having a great Monday. Okay. I'll come over here. So, anyways, so here's the pot roast. There's the crock pot. This is not working out that way. There you go. Okay. Much better now. Okay. So, the first thing I'm supposed to put in is the beef, beef broth. So, I have beef stock right here. And because I'm making two, I'm doubling up on it. Kind of point it to this all the way. So I'm pouring in the beef broth. And I already shook it up, so I'm ahead. And I pour it in and get it ready. So I cover the entire pot roast. Like I said, because we're having a lot of people here, I'm because we'll have we'll have a lot of people at the party, there'll be I'm just making two. Two would be so much easier on everybody. So there's that one. Oh, by the way, it's simple truth. I'm a Kroger person because that's what's closest to me. So next would be some red wine. No, I'm not drinking it. I'm just pouring it in. And I like the smaller bottles because they're easier to cook with. Um, it's just it's just easier for me. I don't drink red wine that often. I'm not much of a red wine drinker. So there's that. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put in my, actually, go ahead and put in the salt. I'll put in the salt next. Salt. And I think there's three teaspoons of salt. So that way you guys know how much went in. I have half a teaspoon of black pepper. I have two teaspoons of thyme, dried leaves, put them there. And how many teaspoons of uh, powder did we, onion powder? It was three, right? Uh, yes. Okay, that's my daughter. We have three teaspoons of onion powder. And we're going to throw that in because I'm actually, I can't have onions, onions, but I can have onion powder. I know that's weird. And I'm going to mix up what, and actually it already smells really good. Hmm. Okay. So I've got all that in there so far. Okay. Hi, Judy. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday night. Okay. Now I'm going to put in one bay leaf. Mm hmm Make sure you take it out before you eat because you do not want to eat that. That is not good for you to eat. It's just to add flavor. I'm going to throw in cans of mushroom because... Having fresh, mushrooms, having fresh mushrooms, having fresh mushrooms, they go bad too quickly. We've noticed, so I've already washed my hands, so I'm putting this in now. Okay, there we go. Okay, and she's eating a carrot. Okay, she washed her hands before she ate the carrot. And here are some carrots and bite-sized potatoes, and I'm gonna also put those in. So you can tell that's a big meal right there. By the way, this is gonna feed. Us. Feed people and whatever people don't eat, I'll just bring home to the family because they'll enjoy it. Hi, Sulin. I hope you're doing great. So basically, all this in here is two big pork or pot roasts. I'm sorry, pot roasts that I bought from Sam's Club. Um, Sam's Club seems to be the best place to get meat that I've noticed. Um, I put the potatoes in. I put two teaspoons of thyme in. Um, one bay leaf. I put in a whole small little jar or small little bottle of uh, red wine, which I use a Chardonnay. Not Chardonnay, I'm sorry. I use the Cabernet. <clears throat> Beef broth, I put that in. I use the whole thing because that way it would cover the entire uh, pot roast. I use ground pepper, which I used half a teaspoon. I also used three teaspoons of the onion powder. And we put in two pounds of little bite-sized potatoes. So those are in there. And then we did two carrots peeled and cut into one-inch pieces. So, I think that's all right. Oh, and the salt, which was three teaspoons of salt. So, everything is in here. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. And I'm going to turn on low so it'll cook all night. And that way we have, uh, we'll have it ready for lunch tomorrow. So, everybody can enjoy a nice pot roast for uh, lunch tomorrow. So, if you have any questions and you want to do that recipe, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to share it with you. Um, I do work at home a lot with my children. There is one of my lovely children, and if you would like to know what I do when I do work at home, because I do work 
uh, health and wellness basically. So if you're interested in that or you want to know more about what I do and how I lost my 65 pounds, please reach out to and let me know. I'd love to help you out and I'd love to be your coach. Okay, I hope you guys have a great Monday and feel free to share and like and pass it along. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you had a great Monday. Bye-bye.